All right. We're doing this now. Tried it earlier, but the internet was horrible. I had my human friend uh, fix things, take care of things, run some tests, and things sh look like they should be fine and stable. But we'll see about that. How are y'all doing? That's right. We're going to talk about some Japanese Japanese rock, Gatrick Spin, top 10 songs. We're going to do the iDubs, Sam High documentary. And uh, we might have some more Men of Culture related stuff. I hope you don't mind watching uh, attractive Japanese ladies try on clothes and play little games for our entertainment. I hope you don't mind that at all. Now, let me uh, spread the link. Bear with me. I'm using my little, my little T-Rex, our raptor arms. It takes me a while. Bear with me. Please be patient. I, uh, I'm slow. <laughs> yeah, it could be autism too. Uh, I'm putting it out there now. We're going to go ahead and try this again. In the meantime, I wait for people to come in. I guess I'll talk about some Gotrick Spin stuff. Gotrick Spin, if you haven't checked them out, if you haven't listened to them, I highly recommend. They are a Japanese rock group. Japanese. They're not J pop. They. You can't say electronica pop. Electric pop, yeah. They are very keyboard heavy, very synth heavy. So there's that. Um, they have an interesting variety of uh, of songs. Um, there are some songs that are definitely pop heavy, definitely. Um, very synth heavy. And then there's some songs that are more on the rock side of things. Now, when trying to do a top 10 list, it is uh, it's difficult. Do I want this to be uh, heavily saturated with the more synth heavy side? Do I want that? Still, still sharing the link, which is why I, I'm a little distracted. I do apologize for that. Like I said, bear with me. I'm doing, doing the best I can with my little arms. All right. One moment. Got your spin. They are a good group. Highly recommend. Um, and the list of tracks I'm going to give you, if you're new, if you're new to this group, I think you can choose any one of these songs. And as long as you're not, as long as you're not bothered by, well, well, Japanese, like Japanese singing, then you'll be fine. Oh, I think I think someone's being disciplined outside. I think uh, I think I'm hearing some some kid being disciplined. They better listen to what their daddy said. Otherwise, they're gonna get the belt again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sometimes discipline is needed. Sometimes kids need to hear a firm voice from their dad. Anyway, 
All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's get into this some more. Yeah, let's talk about the Got Trick Spin top 10 songs. I'll kind of give you my reason why they would be my top 10. In no particular order, really. Uh, any, any one of these songs I'm going to mention, I'm going to list, you can start with any one of them, and you, I think it'll be a good introduction. Okay? I think uh, a good place to start. So not only is it top 10, but it's top 10, I think... Uh, Top 10 tracks of Gotrick Spin, I think, would be uh, good for introduction, introducing people into Gotrick Spin. So, the, the song that got me into Gotrick Spin was Locked On. And that is, in a way, the Gotrick Spin sound. Locked On. Check out Locked On. It has a great bass intro. As Gotrick Spin has a great bass player anyway. F. Chopper Koga is, is amazing, and she used to be a model too. She she, she is definitely a looker. Um, uh, so definitely locked on, locked on would be uh, one on the list. I guess we're going to uh, work my way up. So locked on at number ten. Okay. Uh, no, really, that should be higher. Let's see. Another good song would be a good introduction. Would be mindset. Though this song is very different for Gotrick Spin, um, but it's a really good song regardless. So mindset, I wish I, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Uh, Juicy Beats is really nice. Juicy Beats is good. Uh, let's see, M- M- Mirai Mirai Ronzo, which also has another. Which also has a sweet bass line in the beginning. Starts off with a sweet bass line and, and works its way up. <laughs> works its way up. It's just something awesome. Really good. Really good. Recommend that. Uh, so, so that's five so far. Uh, let's see, five other tracks I think would be great on any sort of top ten list of Gotrick Spin. And good for those that are kind of new to the group and want a good place to start. Um... There's Gold Dash. Don't Let Me Down is good. Well, and Don't Let Me Down might be a track you've heard before if you watch Dragon Ball Z. All right. So there's that. Uh, Red Line. Uh, Next Stage. And then one other one. Um, probably... I'll go Forever 19. Forever 19. Though Forever 19 is also a kind of more different sound for Gotrick Spin. It's uh, it's dirtier. It's dirtier. Uh, but I like it. I like that. I like that sound. Anyway. Uh, so, that's the Gotrick Spin stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, as for all those that have subscribed to this channel, thank you so much for your support. We'll go more detail in future streams. Let's uh, let's light up a cigar. This this Velociraptor, this Raptor likes his cigars. I definitely do. We're gonna light up a cigar, and we're going to watch some some. Uh, actually, we're, we're gonna watch all of the I dubbed Sam Hyde. Documentary together. Buckle up. Straddle in. Get ready. I hope you I hope you're ready. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. It's called Getting Away With It. Oh. That right there is an image of Gotrick Spin. They look great. They look phenomenal. Here we go. It's me, Tyler. I just got my bowl cut, and I'm really excited about my new bowl cut. <laughs> it's Victor! Um, I think I'm crazy, but what they don't know is that uh, this authentic ethnic head wrap enables me to move, shuck and jive, and groove like an ethnic person. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. For the sake of argument, Come at me in a public situation, and I have to shoot through a crowd of people to defend myself.
Now, as a as a raptor, I have to say I am intimidated. I think Sam Hyde would be a, a, a horrible target. I think uh, if I went after him, I'd be eating a bunch of lead. So he's definitely not on the list of people that I would eat. Most definitely, most definitely. Uh, thank you, Indigo Chasm. You like the man of, man of culture overlay? Um, so. I think in Japanese, I think that stands for a cultured person. I believe, <laughs> I believe. Uh, so you know, there's that. <laughs> All right. Self-defense situation, bitch. I'm in jail. They've made him into a meme, which basically means the trolls own him now. A hoax that makes the so is that how it goes? You turn into a meme and the, the internet owns the you? The gunman was a man named Sam Hyde. Many folks posting this photo of a blonde man holding a gun. Adult Swim has decided to part ways with Million Dollar Extreme, an alt-right affiliated show. Messages of hate, misogyny, anti-Semitism. You're being such a pussy right This now. man is named Sam Hyde. Sam Hyde has been misattributed as the gunman. So if so, he's not the shooter. <laughs> so I missed out on the men of culture stuff. I missed out. No, no, no. What did I say men of culture? I missed out on the Million Dollar Extreme. I missed out on that. I didn't really catch that. So... You know, I'm coming into this. I know a little bit of who Sam Hyde is through like his podcast stuff. Uh, you know, and I, I posed a question earlier on during the during the botched stream that I wonder I wonder how someone far removed from from America, like someone in Japan, thinks of Sam Hyde. I'm pretty sure they've seen the memes. I'm pretty sure they've seen the memes whenever they hear about a school shooting in America. And uh, someone in Japan probably thinks America has school shootings every single day. And it's like <laughs> it's part of the life and a way that's kind of true. You know, uh, <laughs> I would legit like to interview someone, uh, a Japanese person who speaks English enough to be interviewed and ask them what they know of Sam Hyde and what they know of America. What, what, did, what do they think of America? That would be interesting. That would be that would be cool. Anyway, yeah, yeah. This this right here, I got this from Deep L, so it might be inaccurate. I don't know. You know, there's that. I mean, you don't speak the language, you know, <laughs> and you don't really know. Who is Sam Hyde? It could say uh, something totally, totally. It could say, it could say this raptor is a giant flaming homosexual. Which, maybe. <clears throat> what, do you have a list of questions? Yeah. What? You can't see them. You better not surprise me with anything. <laughs> You're going to get hella surprised. All right, all right. So, did iDubs get trolled here? I think iDubs got trolled. Is that is that what's going to happen here? I think that's what's going to happen. Or not. What are you going to do, iDubs? I want to see the question. All right, go ahead. Well, my ma my name is Gormedios. And I'm a 400 year old vampire, but I actually appear to be 13. So. And uh, what is your uh, what is your career? What is your job? Interesting question. He's internet famous, or uh, isn't he? Is it the same? I don't know. All I know from Sam Hyde, uh, or the, uh, I guess. Does he come from money? Is his dad rich or is our parents rich? Like I don't know much. He he looks like a homeless person. Sam Hyde always looks crazy. Like he like he looks like a bum, but he's not a bum. Um <laughs> you know, he looks like he's psychotic, but I think that's the look. We went to Rhode Island to film a documentary with Sam Hyde, who's known for right his comedy. Oh, look how I haven't realized how close Idub's eyes are to his nose. You see that? It looks weird. It looks weird. It looks really weird. By the way, when I smoke a cigar, I think it tricks the camera into thinking my mouth is open. Here, let me see. Yes, 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 it does. 
Huh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Video. You can do a lot of damage. I've been aware of Sam and his comedy for a long time, so I thought it'd be interesting to get to know more about Sam uh, because not many people know much about him. He's a bit mysterious. He's a bit unwieldy. Oh man, I Dubs had no idea what he was about to walk into. He thought he was he thought he was gonna actually have a legit uh expose. <laughs> on Sam Hyde, <laughs> get to know the real person. Get to get to know <laughs> the. Uh, I guess I guess the person who's who's responsible for all those shootings. I'm just really hoping that this isn't going to be a struggle. You know, I. I, it's a different energy. It says, welcome to Massachusetts. So is I-Dubs really rocking that pedo stash? Is he? <laughs> welcome to Massachusetts. Cool. I was definitely going into the whole thing, like, super nervous. Like, he looks like he would be a police officer on uh, Reno 911. He looks like he'd be, a, he looks like he'd be the, the gay cop. You know, I didn't want to mess anything up because it really felt to me. Yeah, like, see, I see it. You put a you put a little cap on him, put him in uh, some some police shorts. Yeah, he he would be he'd be the gay cop on Reno nine one one. Now that's that's a reference. There was a lot to mess up. I'm going into sort of a world that I don't understand at all. I know nothing about the guy really, other than what he chooses to put out there in the world. Oh, hey. oh what he chooses to put out there. Uh, I, watching this now, I'm guessing I Dubs has a problem with some of the problem, I guess, problematic content that Sam Hyde puts out there. Okay, <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, he's he's about to get eaten alive. I'm, I'm Hayden. I'm here for the like documentary and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, Sam called me oh. and everything. Oh, awesome. Good to meet you, man. Uh, yeah. So as we're going to the office. We run into like a random 19 year old guy who's like, oh, hey, I dubs. I was like, well, I don't know who this is. This is very confusing. Turns out he was just a kid that Sam had hired to come film more parts of the documentary. So that already <laughs> took me by surprise. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because we got two documentaries from this. Sam Hyde's dropped first <laughs> and then I dubs. Which really, uh, we should watch both. We should watch it both side by side. We sh I'm sure the uh, the Japanese audience, which make up most of the uh, subscribers here on this channel, are going to love <laughs> watching Sam Hyde. Uh, I, I'm curious, man. I'm curious what they think of this guy. Yeah, I'm, I wish I had. A, I have a car. Well, what are the Japanese characters for Sam Hyde? I mean, I'm sure that the name would just like. Uh, because I want to throw that on into the description of this. I guess names don't matter, right? Like names, you don't have to translate names. So, well, well, hmm, hmm. Never mind. Never mind. All right, but the battery's dead. So my grandfather's like fixing it up and everything. Okay. So what's up? Just, uh, so I got the card. I have uh, three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Whoa. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Is that Osama Bin Laden right there on the door? <laughs> Whoa, who's, who's the security guy? You guys knocking before you open the door? Should I pass them? Or? Oh my god. Uh, hey guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Is this for real? Is this for real? That's not for real. That's not his setup. There's no way. What are we watching? We're watching the documentary of Sam Hyde by iDubs. That's what we're watching. I just gave the top 10 list of Gotrick spin songs. Definitely check them out. But uh, yeah. yeah. And then we have some Men of Culture stuff planned. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a preview. This right here, looking really great. Would eat her, would devour her. Would love that. And uh, these chicks right here, lovely. And they play fun games. They're just playing fun games. Okay? That's that's what's on the docket today. Welcome. So, buddy. so when we got into Sam's office, 
Uh, there were a lot of computers, a lot of people. Uh, the security guard, he was doing this whole routine, being very serious the whole time. It felt very tense. <laughs> What's that around your neck? Jaws are size. Jaws are size? Yeah. Is that like uh, mewing? Is that uh, like it was part of the that? mewing triad. Like when you look at Sam's videos, there's really no... Uh, it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of production value put into them. So I was a bit, I think, confused and put off by there being so many people in this room. I just didn't know what their <laughs> role in anything was. So yeah, this is our, this is the, uh, we call it the master station. Yeah. Um, but this is where we get it done. <laughs> master yeah. station. You guys are doing this every day, though. Yeah, every it doesn't day. look like this yeah, all the time. Every, this is a show. Wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that oil? The mess? Wait, wait, go. Well, no. Go back there, go back there. Was that, was that engine oil? As if someone was drinking? Oh, we get it done. Yeah. You guys aren't doing this every day, though. Yeah, every it day. doesn't look like, yeah, like it, this all on. the time. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is a Yeah, there's some, there's some, <laughs> like some sort of car fluid right there. <laughs> okay. Like, I could tell already that Sam Hyde is fucking with him. He's joking around. Show, right? What, what do you mean? The, the mess? Oh. Well, no, just all the people. See, I think really this documentary kind of exposed iDubs as being really autistic because it was quite clear that this is a setup. This isn't real. This is not a real. Ball crime. Like, what, what, what are you working on? Yeah. Josh is, is I'm not a writer. Here. I'm the narrative yeah. director. So these guys are full-time. Joe's my audio guy. Julian's my editor. Evan does 3D models. Weck is uh, security, obviously. Right, right, right. <laughs> Let's get some fresh air. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take a look at that board. Let's take a look at, look at that dry erase board. What are you working on? Josh is... Wait. You see anything on that dry erase board? See anything interesting? I'm, I'm just legit asking. Let's see. Uh, I see... Props. Bad beer. Crypto, crypto time, crypto mining, Instagram props, dad, mom, who has ex girlfriend, what gout, gout, what are they talking about? Oh man. Dude, I, I, I want a still frame of that dry erase board. I want to see what they have right, on there. I'm so curious. Yeah. So these guys are full time. Joey's my audio guy. Julian's my editor. Oh, yeah. Definitely. If you need to buy some makeup, definitely buy some makeup. All right. Uh, a raptor is not going to eat, not going to devour anyone. Okay. You got you to gotta make, make yourself look good. Okay. Evan does 3D models. What? Actually, to be honest, uh, chicks with a lot of makeup on taste nasty. All right, so really, you put the makeup on, you kind of make sure that I'm not going to eat you. That's how it works. This is uh, security, obviously. Right, right, right. <laughs> Let's get some fresh air. Like those TikTok thoughts? Uh, I'll eat them because uh, they do get annoying, but they don't taste that good. They don't taste that good at all. Thank you for doing this, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you don't care if you're dying. See, he's even laughing. Sam Hyde right there is laughing because it's like he knows it's a joke, but he's trying to keep it. And he's doxing himself right there. You think Sam Hyde would really do that? No, come on. What? Oh, 385 Columbia Ave? Hey, stay away. <laughs> hey, get any cute girls out there. Don't be coming by 385 Columbia Ave. I'm shy. Uh, I, do, I really appreciate it, man. Yeah. Because you're obviously got a bigger viewership. Uh -huh. And it's like your brand, uh, you can't be messing around with people who are like unsafe. Yes. Like, what's he going to say? Is he going to talk about Hitler? Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm not as racist as PewDiePie. Okay? I'm not going to bring anything about Hitler. Um, I got to go. <laughs> my mechanic has to teach me how to top off my oil because I don't know how. <laughs> not as racist as PewDiePie. I really want to try this cherry soda lips liquid lipstick. Oh, okay. Thing that I've never seen before. You're okay with going in the trunk? Bingo. Nice. There's not a lot of room in there. This looks bad. This looks That's like something loud. bad's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, I'm 
starting to get the idea that you're sort of the guy that I hate in every major city. The one with the noise? Yeah. You don't like it? I don't think I like it. It feels like... It feels like a lot is happening for a very... Dude, iDubbbz is like a Boy Scout compared to Sam Hyde. This is weird. You know, iDubbbz is like a little nerd. You know, iDubbbz is like that kid I was given like ultra wedgies or something in school. <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> Dude, Sam Hyde, Sam Hyde is gonna take him. I uh, just take him for a trip, dude. He's gonna have a good time. Very little. If you're been in a test, I think Sam Hyde enjoyed this more than I do. Test. 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 Tesla speed. Well, you got a Tesla motor. That's why it's so fast. It's got the Tesla motor. Tesla motor. Yeah, I don't have life insurance. I literally know what I'm doing. Like, I would never go past, like, 80% on public roads. Like an anime reference, 80% power. Reference. I would never use <laughs> my true power on the streets. I'm into it now. I sort of get it now. And guys, is that a Tesla motor? I've, I've, I don't know anything about Teslas. I've never been into a Tesla, but I... Is that is that even true? I don't even think that's true. I think all this is just a giant a giant joke. All of it was a giant joke. This thing's not registered. Oh. <laughs> when I was driving, oh yeah, the car isn't registered. I don't see any tags on the on the window. <laughs> this thing here, it just shut off in the middle of the highway. Like it stuck, it stopped. Yeah. And I had to like t turn it back on while going, you know. That doesn't give you any sort of anxiety. You never have anxiety. Yeah. If you have anxiety, you're, you're dead. Next thing you know, you're dead. If you ever get anxiety. Yeah, if you ever have anxiety, you're dead, guys. Okay. All right. So if you have anxiety, don't have anxiety. It's that easy. Okay. You suffer from anxiety. Shake it off or you die. Anxiety. Next thing that happens, you fucking die. Sounds a lot like my dad. I'm like, dad. Just say anxiety. Just say the word. He's like, no, that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Your dad's a wise man. Did your dad use the word anxiety? Uh, no, my dad gives, uh, the advice that he gives comes after long reflections on alcoholism. And it's usually very depressing. He probably has, uh, not manic depression, but like cyclomania, like mild manic depression. He gets little genius <laughs> okay. and he gets depressed phases. You're a lot like your dad. Dude, he's just spewing a story. <laughs> Sam Hyde is just stringing along, spewing a story, uh, you know, and uh, iDubbbz is buying it. iDubbbz is buying it. Uh, chem chemically and biologically, yes, but I've uh, thankfully uh, been able to overcome a lot of his uh, problems. Pro probably because he was so open about them when I was a kid. Like, I've never had alcohol. I've never. But the question I have for you guys is. Are there any nuggets of truth buried uh, in this story, in this, uh, uh, I guess, diarrhea that's coming out of Sam Hyde's mouth? Is there any any little nuggets of truth? I'm curious about that. I've been drunk. I've been drunk, like, almost drunk, like, twice. That's, real, that's true. Because both my parents were alcoholics, and they told me, you know, they warned me about it and whatnot. I think it might help for the, uh, for the viewers. When you say something like that, if you're serious, yeah. you say 100% serious. 100% <laughs> That's not going to help at all. Guys, if I say I'm 100% serious and say something crazy afterwards, are you going to think I'm serious? Guys, I'm 100% serious. I've, I don't drink alcohol. Okay, I'm 100% serious. I have never had any alcohol in my life. I don't drink Okay, all right. That that's that's how I am. All right, that's the way I roll. All right, I'm a hundred percent serious on that. Now, at the same time, though, if you want to send a little dono of three dollars or more, I will gladly drink. And you can see if a dinosaur can get drunk. Uh, but I don't drink. I'm being for real serious. Or 100% serious. <laughs> serious. How about this, Don? Say this. I say, baby, Sammy, serious. You fucking retard. So now you know. So you don't have to guess. Because you're autistic. So 
you need a picture book guy to tell you when someone's in a mood. Here's an angry face. Ah, <laughs> you okay? Get your guidebooks out so you know when people are in different moods. You fucking retard. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll say baby Sammy serious. There has been times where I can't tell, you know? It's like uh, when you've talked about uh, women a lot of the time. Beating women! What a bitch will do to you once she gets her claws in. I want this, I need this, I need this. You're gonna be the prettiest princess astronaut as soon as you grow a fucking brain. <laughs> well, that's, that's, I mean. <laughs> you dumb bitch. As if when you say that someone raped you, anyone's gonna believe you, you dumb bitch. Fuck off. He's that's almost laughing right man. there. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not misogynistic, I don't like hate women. There are women that I, I value like very highly and I think are amazing, but uh, women are like super dangerous. Three ways that you're really super fucked up. One is women. Two is with uh, uh, being a bad driver. Three is with uh, going to college, like making making life decisions based on somebody else's expectations and not like what you what's best for you. You know what I mean? Those are yeah. The uh, that's actually pretty real. How many of us are, uh, not me, I mean, I'm a Raptor. I, don't, I never, I never been to a university. I don't have any college debt, right? They wouldn't even accept me. But <clears throat> how many of you uh, have a bunch of college debt and you got a degree that's completely useless, a degree that's useless, uh, and uh, in pursuit of that degree, people said, go for it. It's going to be okay. It, you know, it's going to work out, especially people at the university saying, hey, yeah, that de that degree will land you a job. You'll make uh, good money. Uh, you know, there, there's a whole scam there. There's a whole scam there when universities are promoting bullshit degrees like in gender studies and all that. Um, no, they're just that's just robbery there. You know, um, you know what? When it comes to. uh Student loan forgiveness, what I think should happen, what I think should happen is the universities that sold people on some bullshit, stupid degrees that they knew were bullshit, maybe they should pay out. <laughs> maybe they should pay out. <laughs> After all, uh, they already get a lot of money from the government anyway, but that's a whole different thing. That's a whole different thing. Let's get back to Sam Hyde. The three big ones to really like turn yourself into a perk head and like fuck your shit up. Oh, and drug use too, but that's not, I just don't think about that because I haven't uh, had any it's experience. It's not relevant to you. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really, literally have never been high or anything. I'm gonna guess you're single right now. No, I got a girl. Yeah? Yeah. What's her name? Danny. You'll know, meet her, she's coming by. Da now, Danny. Know, Danny. <laughs> She's 100% real, grade A and B. When you get a load of her pussy and her ass, you're gonna be squeezing your legs together saying, Hail Mary, brother. Hail Mary, like brother. So <laughs> Can't believe we live. Can't believe we live. Fuck. Tell me your eyes up, look at this. This Home Depot metal swirl yeah. on the spoiler, that's nice. That makes you go faster. That's how you know a Laotian owned it. No racism. But this is a nice what little- What is that? Day Laotian. one, I was obviously on edge. Sam is a very unpredictable person, but I started to notice that he has patterns, uh, the way he talks about things. He'll say something very cryptic, and then he'll look at the camera as if the audience knows what he's talking about. What's Laotian? <laughs> La Laos is only one of the greatest countries in the world, and they have great taste, which is why the Laotians oh, put I this see what you're saying. diamond pattern on here. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay. A lot okay. of Sam's comedy seems to be rooted in him trying to rile people up. Liam Dunham, you made threats against me, so now if I see you in person, I'm going to be afraid for my safety. I'm going to have to protect my life. In public, when I see you, Lena Dunham, I'm going to knock your fucking head off. Just like that, bitch. It seems like he says things <laughs> that are I'm intimidated. taboo or just kind of edgy. Yeah, you know what, sweetie? You're going to be an astronaut. Like a fucking retarded bitch dyke could ever do that. <laughs> the infamous, infamous Sam Hyde moment. I mean, it's not. It's funny stuff, though where he tries to harass or get the attention of people like Ethan Klein or Lena Dunham. I just got off. Oh, Lena Dunham is an attention whore, so yeah. Text with um, Ethan from H3H3. And Ethan's also an attention whore. Um, he said he... Ethan is one of those human beings I would not eat. Joe Rogan, I'll eat after he serves his purpose. 
Ethan of H3H3, I would not eat. He looks diseased. He looks seriously diseased, like sickly. Like there's something wrong with him. Like uh, he, he, he'd be toxic if I were to eat him. I would die, actually. I think it would be poisoned. I'm just going to put up no $5,000 because, you know, he like took yeah, some I mean, of my style and stuff and like, like, you know, got really popular doing his, he did his own thing, but he like took some of my like humor. Most recently, he's trying to get Joe Rogan to fight him. If I hit Joe Rogan, he would instantly forget every piece of jujitsu knowledge. Joe, you'd know, you would know as much jujitsu as Marcella May Rogan after I hit you. <laughs> you'd be gaga mode, okay? You'd be looking for some pampers. The list of things I wouldn't do to Joe in a fight. Hmm. I wouldn't take no for an answer. Call me Joe. I'm assuming it's all just for exposure or he's trying to goad these people into embarrassing. Yes, I dubs. That's exactly what it is. I mean, that is what it is. He's he's targeting big targets off for purpose. I mean, he knows Joe Rogan's probably not going to even pay him any attention, but if he does, he wins. But even if he doesn't, he still wins and that it's funny. Uh, you should definitely always punch higher than your, uh, I guess, your grade. Because we're talking about the internet. I mean, I'm just talking shit. Embarrassing themselves. At least that's what I thought Sam was doing it for. I think it's, no, I don't think the point is to get them to lure them into doing anything. I think it's just part of the, the character. Yeah. But I've been trying to be, um, I've been consciously trying to be more, not necessarily less mean, but like more joyful. Uh -huh. So if I do some, if I like say it's like, fuck you to somebody, I try to do it with like a spirit of like, yeah. uh, you know. Another Sam Hydeism is that when Sam he's being serious or genuine for too long, he will undercut it by saying the exact opposite of the point of view he was expressing before. It makes it very confusing to have a conversation with him and get his actual feelings about a particular topic. Um, like the Joe Rogan stuff, I think is like it's really lighthearted. <laughs> even though I want to kill his. Uh, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> he got himself. You couldn't finish that. Even though I want to kill. <laughs> Well. It's probably some kind of self-awareness that Sam has where he realizes that in front of a camera he needs to bring his brand of comedy out. This thing rips ass. But because so much of Sam defaults to sarcasm and irony, it was really hard to know if I was getting genuine responses to the serious questions I was asking. And you don't get uh, annoyed or bothered by the noise. You like it. Of the car? Yeah. Uh, it's, an, it's really annoying. Okay, but you put up with it because there's other benefits. Well, what do you want me to do? Freak out and start screaming? I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like a retard. <laughs> the car's too loud. I'd probably rather be in a rental Corolla right now. It would be. It would be uh, yeah. more comfortable. Okay. Are you supposed to uh, wear a mask at uh, the drive-thru here? No, you just put your shirt over your face. <laughs> <laughs> what, this? Yeah. yeah, why not? As opposed to what, putting a fucking mask on? Yeah, it's a little cringe, don't you think? What, covering your face with a t-shirt? Yeah. Put, you think it's, putting a mask... It's pretty cringe to even cover your mask. It's even cringe to wear a mask. Come on now, come on. Don is less cringe than yeah. covering yeah. your face with a t-shirt. Yeah. I Dubs is such a nerd, dude. Get out of With the mask? And then what do you guys want? Uh, two spicy deluxes as well. Two meals or sandwiches? Uh, let's do sandwiches. Yeah. Two spicy deluxe sandwiches also. He just reported me for not having a mask. <laughs> you can take that mask off now. I like to pretend the Chick fil A girls are my own private harem. <laughs> they exist to serve. Take the mask off, Jesus Christ. I like to, do, I like to, to pretend that me. as well. <laughs> so. Who doesn't like the masks? The Chick Fil A girls are normally pretty nice. I'm gonna get your input on a few things. Yeah, yeah. We got the uh, Chick Fil A is like the cream of the crop when it comes to fast food. All right, Chick Fil A is legit good. It's not just the product; it's the service. It's the service. When we get the back to the office, we'll go over the whiteboard. Good. Good. Actually, we do have to work out, though. That's not a joke. Yeah. One of the few things I was actually looking forward to on day one was meeting Sam's girlfriend, Danny. Because, you know, if I was going to have a hard time breaking through Sam's comedy wall, I knew that Danny would be the solution to that. How long are you going to go? <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs>
Because I know some things about this documentary. I know that Danny is a paid actress. <laughs> uh, like two and a half years, two years. Okay. She could give me honest, truthful answers to how Sam really is and all the other questions that I had. At least that's what I, I hoped would happen. Honestly, she kind of makes my life hell. You know, life isn't, what, horrible? Not horrible. I don't think you feel horrible. I do. You don't feel yes, horrible. I do. That's bullshit. No, it's not. It's fucked. Is it? Is it it's one of the? It's uh, suffocating, and I can't leave it because it's like a security blanket type thing. Security blanket for you. Yes. You like the security. Yes. This feeling that you're getting, it's like just. This was a good long troll op. That's that's what this is. In responsibility, essentially, about worrying about another person? Uh, no, no, we mean why it feels horrible? Yeah. Uh, no, because she's like a fucking mess. Oh. Interesting. Have you con considered going to therapy? For my therapy. therapy. <laughs> I mean, you could contribute to her being a mess. What do I need therapy for? I could contribute to her being a mess? Are yeah. you kidding me? I can see no, your no, no, personality no, no. and how you would no, no. things. No, no. So there we go with iDubs is judging. Judging Sam Hyde's character. It, 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 it's part of the How about this? How about this? Like you, play, you can be the counselor when we, when we okay. meet her. Okay. You can dig into it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of interesting how the iDubs didn't see, wasn't even aware that this was a joke. That's Danny right there. Hi, honey. iDubs, just stick a camera in your face immediately. <laughs> okay, he said many great things about Danny. And this is when he first meets Danny. And he doesn't, like, go, wait a second. Am I being set up here? <laughs> That's my girlfriend that you're asking about. Hi. Please don't flirt with iDubs. <laughs> Hi. You're Danny? Yeah. You look anemic. But... Anemic? Yeah, a little bit. We look alike, though. Kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah, I think we Let do look alike. Let me see the hat. Yo, uh, Sam, what are you working on? Like, I thought you were bald. Uh, no. You go, what? Like, uh, oh, Why yeah. is your head so fucking big? You got a place for speakers? I got a lot of cream. <laughs> she legit looks like a meth head. She legit looks like a meth head, dude. Uh, <laughs> Weird. At this point, I should have not have asked, hey, are you guys punking me right now? He should have just been like, oh, yeah, I know what this is. You guys are punking me. You guys are punking me. All right. All right. Uh, and just, I guess caught it a day, but I'm glad he didn't because we got this. This is part of my genes. Maybe you just have like a really large skull. I don't know. I don't know. Have you like weighed your head? Uh, I have not weighed my head, no. So. Oh, well, I haven't like weighed my head without the fluid in it in like a while, but yeah. Oh, uh, um, the environment was very, uh, uncomfortable as a whole. Talking with Sam, you know, he's he's very forward and he, he's got a big personality. The rest of the guys there were very... Right. Dipped in Sherm. You want one, John? I'm good. Thanks, though. Weird. The whole environment was weird. Oh. But when it came to Danny, it was just sad. Is she taking Zanny's? Like, Zanny berries? Oh, wait, I can't like, give her, you know? Like, mm -hmm. just stop uh, and dry. <laughs> I really didn't know how to feel. I would say that the rest of the guys made me medium level uncomfortable. Danny made me extremely uncomfortable. I have more. more my tattoos. I feel like a dog sitting on the floor. <laughs> At that point, I feel irresponsible just like talking to her. It felt like we need to get her help or something. I'm basically oh, so Yeah. <laughs> same height, really same height. That's true. I thought it was going to be a lot colder here. It is very cold. That's <laughs> eh, not too bad. <laughs> what color is this? It's just brown. Uh, it'll be brown, I think. No. That's like yellow. Green? <laughs> Green? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. <laughs> yeah. She's messing with him. <laughs> Dan, can you stop trying to fuck iDubs? <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, so. <laughs> What's this whiteboard all about? Um, you guys want to go over our team meeting? Team. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's let's have a team meeting. Let's let's do a team meeting thing. That's that's what we need to do. Meeting. We do have to find the next big idea. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. 
okay? Because right now, things are on the decline. Things are not going that well. We have to find a big idea, whether that's like a viral video to get me back on top. I said like we could do something like TikTok related. Like Start like doing TikTok videos? Literally or do like just anything on TikTok. Like, like a, a dude dancing, like just you <laughs> flossing, that'd be so funny. Just some that's dumb cool. shit like that. That's a really good idea. So, my name is Yeshua Ronov. I go by Joshua. Ooh, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just grab me some paper towels. My mom always told me to keep my head back, but like that shit doesn't work. So I, I'm 21, freelance graphic designer. Uh, I'm a writer for Sam. Like whatever he needs me to write. Like, <laughs> all this, all this like, is bullshit. Right? So flossing video, yeah. Or like, uh, like I don't know, Among Us is popular. Right? Among Us, or shit like that, yeah. Yeah, like Reddit yeah. sus. Among Us that, mukbang. That would be so funny. Among Us mukbang. The Reddit sus. I saw well, a lot yeah. of people. Are doing Did you see Among Us mukbang? I am Jed Neptune. That is my name. I am 22. <laughs> he can't Every remember time his I, age. I'm asked, I forget how old I am. I edit video primarily, and I'm also crypto strategist for Sam. Have you have you made any money with that? Yeah, I made mad money. Did you really make mad money? <laughs> yeah. What did you buy? Uh, this Chinese kami fucking coin. It was pretty sick. It's illegal to buy. See, see, and his crew, they're trying hard not to laugh. <laughs> you know? Can you edit this kind of yeah, Cardano, They're kind of revealing XRP. this. Stuff like that. I won't bore you with coins, but um, we're we're pretty into the crypto world. Like if you've ever seen Sam Schwitter, he's constantly on that. And I basically put him on to all that stuff. But I did get that play from the crypto training, so I don't think it should be on things to spend less on because it's been right. making us money. I mean, Julian lost a lot of money on that, but I'm not gonna snitch. But Julian did spend hundred ten dollars on skins on Fortnite. Yeah, Julian. He's busy. Don't mess with him. He's making genius happen. You can call me Bic, I guess, for the purposes of this. Age twenty three. I guess you could say, kind of do a little bit of everything, editing, but I'll like shoot stuff. I'll you know like you know help write and like direct and stuff too. Whose idea was weed vape? That was my idea, but it was it's a, a bad idea. Yeah, it's what a was really the, bad idea. What? Being too high isn't that fun. Funny. <laughs> Being just come it's coming okay. from a weed vape is off. That's not it's funny. It's coming from someone who's a stoner. I'm gonna check all that. It's coming from a all stoner. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me know if we're clear to use this door at some point. Right. right. It's locked for now, but I'll let you know. All right. All right. Okay, my name is Wack. I'm 32. And my job is security. That's another guy who looks like he uh, could be in Reno 911. He just wants to make sure that everything's safe around like the work area. And this is a serious thing. It's not a joke. What is? The, uh, the no, I'm, a, I'm actually security for Sam, yeah. I've been doing it for six months, yeah. Okay. We're all putting the threat level because that door's unlocked. Chris? Today's threat level's red. <laughs> Chris, we got a security stand at the old pole here. I'm putting us on red until Chris stops messing with the lights. Like, honestly, like, he's cool, but, like, sometimes he'll just, like, open doors, like, really quickly and not, like, tell me he's doing it. I mean, I can't be at both of the doors. That's actually necessary. What's up, Red? Why are you so interested? I'm just, I'm just curious what happened. I, do, I wouldn't worry about it. Well, there's green, which is like pretty much there's no threat, and then there's yellow, orange, red, and double red. That's <laughs> double like the top, red, double like, red. Threat level that you could possibly be like in the office. Dude, dude, iDubs actually interviewed all these people <laughs> and thought this was legit. <laughs> there's like a what? new trend where like uh, hot girls are like playing with Legos. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Do we know any hot girls? No. We don't have any it's hot girls. It's like meta Chris. levels of I'm irony. It's, it's crazy. I do some writing music officially, like full time. It's only been like a month or two. I've been a fan of him and then I found out he was like, lived like 15 minutes away from me. So I was like, oh shit, he's really tall and like uh, muscular. I was like, whoa. What about the animal prank? Uh, animal prank was iffy because we didn't know how people would react to that. What would that, like, what is animal prank? People generally like animals. I'm Evan, I'm 24 years old. I work on anything 3D related for the projects. Texturing stuff, 3D stuff, video game stuff that we're working on, the NFTs. Pretty much anything that we need, I do. If you if you hurt if you actually hurt an animal in a YouTube video, people well, are gonna freak out. Also, oh, getting an animal might be like oh, super. Expensive. We good? Well, you were talking about finding an animal in the woods. Yeah, like a wolf. Or something. That's cheap. That's yeah. free. So I don't know. It's good to have people <laughs> that are just always laughing and just going crazy. You're That's, more likely to find a deer, but okay. <laughs> the complete opposite of me, pretty much. I feel like. So what you're saying is we can't do a funny idea because these SJW cucks are gonna get on my case. <laughs> For, yeah. for hurting a dog, okay. Exactly. Dude, yeah. it's fucking retarded. It's fucking stupid. It's just a dog. I hate these, I hate these cucks so much. Uh, Things to spend more on. Podcast, rap gear, 
Uh, What's rap gear? Rap gear is just like clothing for rap videos. Like Joey's like swagged out right now. Yeah. I want Joey, your fit is crazy. Bro. Well, your fit is yeah. I was have to say Joey's outfit looks great. <laughs> it's like a tax right off. So. Uh, one man, aka Joey, J O E Y Y. Age, uh, I'm 25. <clears throat> and what I do, I'm a rapper. Damn, this should be hella back. Sheesh. Like, I've been doing the rap shit for a grip, and he had, like, seen my... I feel like I'm on a... Like, some fed shit. Like, this is crazy. Where I'm from, how I fuck with shit, it's like money talks. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <clears throat> he's got bread, and he's, like, willing this shit out for me. You know what I'm saying? That, that propels my shit. How much are your... How much are those shoes? 400. How much is, like, your whole outfit? Right? The hat was 300. Yeah. Ring, 300. Yeah. He's worth three thousand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fifteen hundred. Yeah, I would. Uh, if I saw this guy out in the wild, I'll definitely uh, snatch him and eat him. I think. I think that's that's what. They, I mean, it, it'd be hard to resist. Yeah. He's a big boy too. He'd, he'd, oh, yeah, he'd keep me uh, uh, keep me so full for uh, for a while. What more is there? You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to make art and yeah. I like to buy shit. That's it. <laughs> The night in blackface might be a bit much. Yeah. Can we erase that? Let's avoid the ra racial stuff yeah. for now. Yeah. Because Biden. Yeah. Let's keep it kosher. Um, all right. So Drake Kiki replaces Nike blackface. What about win a date with either? <laughs> um, yeah, not bad. For the lady girl fans? Oh, he's, he, got, he always has the best viral videos. So show I does that. He always finds the funniest shit. <laughs> show him a few more. Show him a few all right, more. Dude. Little bang, but that's okay. But my bang. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. Fucking stupid bitch. Show him the one you were showing me before. Show him the fucking shit, the rare shit. Have you seen this item? <laughs> dude, you gotta, you gotta Yo, see this. Yo, this is so funny. I'm watching. I don't, you gotta see this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are those? <laughs> this guy's ret oh, retarded. <laughs> Yo, that's goofy. That's goofy. Damn. Bro, we got collab with iDubs. See, that's okay, okay. at that point, iDubs is like, uh, <laughs> what's going on here? You know, fake death. Like I'll he has to know something's up, especially at the. I think um, when they wrap that, up the that team might meeting. Be good just for money, though. Yeah, well, no, that's the problem with that is that's a one-time thing. Oh. So if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna fake my death. Can, or like, like tell my fans I have cancer or something. I can't keep doing that. Like you, can you can't. You know you can't do that more than once. I can't. Well, go well, 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 you can. You can boogie does it more than once. Well, not fake as death. Not to say he has cancer, but you can do the mental health thing. Same how you can do the mental health uh, depression thing. Uh, boogie has done it many times. There's a lot of YouTube uh, personalities that have uh, pretty much uh, um, baited their audience with. Poor me, sad stories, you know. <laughs> my fans would be like, "Hey, I have cancer again. Oh, whoops, give me three hundred thousand oh, dollars." That works. There is those two. Like, <laughs> one, uh, that's a one-time thing. Five. Danny, nobody cares yeah. that you have cancer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can. Do you know? Do you have any connections? <laughs> I'm serious though. To David Dobrik. Or like any yeah. top YouTuber that we can get. Like, do you have any way to leverage your connections, to, like help us? You no. Know? I mean, it depends. Danny do you know Danny Mullins? Danny Mullins? He's like a YouTuber. I fucking hate that guy. I don't think so. <laughs> if, you, if you could, like, hook us up, like, I want to fight him. Danny Mullins? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who he is. Steam, I think that goes without saying. We should be torrenting games or sharing Steam accounts. We should not be buying... Online, you can't really, like, torrent, like, stuff. We gotta like... pick a game and stick with it. Well, like we can't we can't be going from Valheim we, we to like, like but we can't play those online. Like, <laughs> no, no Steam. You gotta stop spending. You gotta stop buying fucking I, Steam punk games. Uh, I and last thing anyone knows, I know his face was was priceless right there. <laughs> How does that help you make money? How does that help you? What what is going on here? Anyone you can ask for money. If anyone knows any rich Bitcoiners, Julian's family is gonna ask his family. I Dubs, we're gonna who ask has, when who has money. Off, get money. But yeah, anybody <laughs> ex girlfriend, if, mom, dad. Anybody? If anyone knows anyone that's got money, ask please. Um, I think we covered it, guys. We don't back down. Be a fucking wolf. Okay. That's we evolution. don't back down. That means evolution designed you six thousand years to become a fucking wolf. So that's how you act. You be right. a wolf. Quote for the week. Or a raptor. Think it, dream it, do it. Can we get a chant going? Think it, dream it, do it. 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 All right, does anyone want to work out? 
<laughs> uh, Come on, man. At that point, you know what's up. We're going to do some kind of fitness related thing. I think it might involve boxing. This is going to look so cool on you. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. The internet's going to go crazy when they see this. It's going to be viral. Huh? That's it. That's not real. That's really, that's really actual Korean. Can you believe that? It sounds like Star Wars. Dude, like did they did up. they for real film this like there, there's like homeless camps right there? <laughs> if I was a civilization, I would have thought of something better. Uh, day one was very rough with Sam, changing the oil in his car, going to Chick-fil-A, meeting his team of like 10 plus people, and uh, boxing. <laughs> <laughs> hit me in the head, you fucking coward. <laughs> it was scary when we started boxing and he said shit like, hit me, hit me. Go, hit me in the Because I feel like it's one of those things where um, it gives him permission to go crazy if I, if I do hit him in the head. I think it's always a little bit emasculating when you're boxing someone who has more boxing experience. <laughs> He's like three times his size. <laughs> than you. <laughs> I'd box, I'd box Sam Hyde, but it'd be hard with my little raptor hands. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to hit him. Sad. And I know Sam was doing a bit of a, a gag, you know, to have everyone there sort of chanting things. It's like a very exciting <laughs> way to sort of start the documentary. Think it, dream it, do it. 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 It feel, I guess it feels more like a cult <laughs> when they're doing this chanting and everything. And, uh, you know, Sam gets to be the leader of the cult. If you can think it, if you can dream it, you can do it. Around 2008, Sam started regularly uploading comedy videos predominantly featuring himself alongside his friends Nick Rochefort and Charles Carroll, a comedy troupe called Million Dollar Extreme. What's the one problem right now that's not going to be around in 2070? The elderly and the disabled. Because we're just going to kill them! <laughs> The videos gained a large cult following on YouTube. The comedy style clearly pulled inspiration from absurdist Adult Swim shows like Tim and Eric Austin Show. So naturally, after MDE had established a following online, Adult Swim picked them up to create a cable television show, Million Dollar Extreme Presents World Peace. You're gonna be famous! Oh my god! Why are you up there? I'm being a monkey. World Peace was exactly the type of thing you'd expect to see on Adult Swim. Uh, uh, and the show was pretty good. Take a bite? It's clean. I'm, I'm full. I'm so full. But good things, especially good things as divisive as MDE, Choose rock. aren't meant to last. <laughs> and World Peace lasted about halfway through its first season before it started to get heavily criticized by the media. For such a big sound coming out of such a small person, it's so crazy. Former Adult Swim collaborators such as Brett Gelman and Tim Heidecker took public stances against the show. And after a heated interview with BuzzFeed writer Joe Bernstein. You write the mental equivalent of popcorn. How am I supposed to have any respect for you when you're being such a pussy right now? I, I just have trouble hearing you. <laughs> the media smearing became too much for Time Warner to handle, and World Peace was canceled. Adult Swim has decided to part uh, ways with a... Now, Anna Kasparian, Kasparian that's, that's a woman I would, uh, I would devour her. <laughs> but um, she wouldn't feel me. She wouldn't feel me, but you know who would? The Buffalo. The Buffalo would. An alt-right affiliated show. This show is called Million Dollar Extreme, and I don't understand like the appeal to it, but apparently it did relatively well on Adult Swim. World Peace is the culmination of um, the 10 years of our uh, me, Nick, Charles efforts. I'm probably not the one to give you the unbiased reason why it ended. It's not like there was a lack of quality or funniness to it. Even though I'm sure some people say, well, it's not really for me. Well, fuck you. Sam and many of his accomplices were blacklisted from Hollywood. The MDE fan base was devastated. And Sam quickly returned back to his internet roots as a solo, self-sustained entertainer. 
World Peace was a show that pushed a lot of boundaries that are typically not pushed by television shows. Something <laughs> that has always been criticized by the media from South Park to Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But because of the way Sam and even the show itself refused to allow the general <laughs> public in an overarching joke, a dogpile from these groups was to be expected, and even seemed to be welcomed by Sam and the show's fans. Did World Peace deserve to get canceled? Maybe. But was it inevitable? Yes. <laughs> Looks like a good show. I should have yeah. I should have watched it when it was on. Did meet you, Ian? Sam's coming by. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm like I've been rusty. I'm fucking. I haven't been on camera in uh, you know a bit. So. Oh I, yeah. I don't look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> what the hell? What's a blur? A slingshot. Those things are rare. <laughs> oh. I can't fucking believe you sent me a picture of that thing. He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, you bringing that fucking shit? Yeah. Yo. Hey. 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 All right. Did you get your on? What's that? Those thongs? I can't hear anything. Why? Oh, because I just looked this. My toy. You bought that? Yeah. Oh, good. I've had that for a month. Oh, fun. Hey, okay, you know what they say? On the seventh day, God rested. On the eighth day, Polaris created the slingshot. <laughs> okay. This house is insane, too. <laughs> it was like fucking architectural digest. I, that's all I wanted. I always wanted to be my cunt Aunt Barbara. <laughs> like, I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I taught myself. I did push-ups yeah, in the well, he got He got me into <laughs> selling cars and I was terrible at it. That's why it's... <laughs> yeah, I taught him fucking everything. I taught him. It's like when you just hate customers and don't take ups. Yeah. Uh, my name is Nick Rochford. I'm 30 six years old and uh i'm a merchant <laughs> he's a merchant <laughs> he's a merchant so a drug dealer <laughs> he's a merchant for the most part i sell things i sell things e everything but <clears throat> weed and drugs i met <laughs> sam in 2007 so i've known him for 14 15 years now you know those fake fake brands on Amazon? Every piece of this car is like, buy that. Yeah, and it looks like it was designed by a fucking Egyptian club promoter. Here's my favorite part, get the sound <laughs> yes, of yes. this. That's safety you can count on right there. You want to drive it, i -Dub? Yeah, clutch in and hit that. What is the clutch? Uh, they don't make one that will actually fit a Raptor, so I've never driven one. Uh, I've actually have never driven a car either, but uh, if you can make that happen, that'd be great. Is this the clutch? Uh oh. Hey, is this your first time driving stick? Yes. Okay. And now you can go ahead and fully take your foot off the clutch. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna let him drive it. <laughs> He's never driven stick before. Oh god. You wanna know? Hey, you wanna know the shortcut to being a master of the Polaris slingshot? Think Ferrari. So then we met, and he was like, "Oh, you do Think comedy? Ferrari. Yeah, you, I do stand-up comedy." <laughs> and I, I think I remember like just reading him bits that but I sketches like all night yeah 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 and uh so we just started writing sketches and we started writing sketches over the phone every day watch this <laughs> take two fun yeah. driving around with Sam is always so much fun <laughs> he goes slow and it's always very predictable <laughs> okay seriously this is Crazy. Do you uh, do you miss uh, the show? Um, like working on it? Uh, no, 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 Nick. Listen, um, this isn't working for me anymore, and I think that we should start huh. seeing other people. <laughs> That's Nick, what hilarious. We make freely, kind of like what whatever you want to do, like full free, full full reign, sure, um, but. For the most part, now, like Adult Swim, the, the majority World of piece like, was epic. It's yeah, like, it's a that's what I'm seeing, scene. man. No, help yourself. I wish it would. Uh, I wish I would have caught it when it was uh, when it was live. You know, when it was when it was broadcasting, but uh, I missed it. Thirty six dollars. The month? only thing I knew about Sam Hyde go going into this was that uh, he was uh, behind every school shooting or every shooting for that matter in, in America, <laughs> supposedly, allegedly. Oh, no, please enjoy it. Nick, <laughs> what's going on, big guy? You just tripped my wife. She can say whatever she wants, but I didn't trip your wife. I think you're right. Yeah, it wasn't fun. <laughs> it wasn't fun. It was like, oh, cool, you're going like, to do coke with, like, Keith Crawford, like, in a room. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I don't have a problem. Like, I don't, I don't have, like, a, 
I don't hate my fucking girl. I'm I don't not know. running from my life to the point where I need to like yeah. <laughs> do coke like with like strangers. Like I, I fine, you wanna do a bump at a party in, in Los Angeles? Sure. Like banging lines all night with like 18-year-old fangirls or like 26-year-old like wannabe interns, like I'll, I'll pass, man. That's fucking strange to me. <laughs> Is it the it's party not, at, at Adult Swim? Really cool. It's like stand-up, you know, you drink all night. Thankfully, Nick believed me in a submission. And I'm going to be happy. <laughs> My face isn't pounded into the paper. Yeah, like bullying is like super funny to me. Like uh, it's it's forbidden. That's the impetus is the forbidden. Stop, you post people! What <laughs> <are> you <laughs> And bully humor is like it's stupid and it's crude and it's also not allowed. I mean, you know, anything that's not allowed to me is always going to be like, oh, oh, ooh, driving a speedboat through a slow zone. Driving drunk. Yeah, drive, <laughs> dr driving, driving drunk. in reverse again. Forbidden. You know, in like L.A. and uh, New York or Seattle or San Francisco, you know, Austin, the big major metros. There's so many things that like wash. Like there's a guy shooting a fucking gun. It's Tuesday. What is it? Tuesday? It's Tuesday at. Five foot, like it's dinner time, and this guy's like, "No, it's not. It's handgun time." <laughs> I love it. Super funny. Yeah, yeah. Uncomfortable. And I think I probably learned that from Sam. Is like getting uncomfortable. Like, stop worrying about what people think. You know, it's not a big deal. In a way, it's, it's real life. Deal. And I needed that in my own. Because life. in real life, That's people really do some crazy, effed up shit, man. <laughs> this fucking shit box. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. What do you think, Nick? This thing fucking sucks. Yeah. Dick. I hate this fucking thing. It's... I want to fucking break it. I want to rip the fucking. I want to punch both fucking gauges out. Does the Polaris suck, guys? Does the Polaris suck? Home Depot. It's, uh, the slingshot. It's like a joke. It's like a... That's kind of why the 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 racism stuff is is kind of a, in some cases it's a moot point because it is it is showing people. Most <laughs> basement. If it's too cruel to be funny or if it's if it's um if i miscalculated my racism like if i made if i said something that was just like not justified then it's like the same as it's the same as bombing with a bad joke because it is right. that's what it is it is i showed my taint nobody liked it now i'm a faggot yeah, I'm like, <laughs> more than I've ever been, and i want nobody to ever see this video now, i always like to end these these little things with a, with a bit of racial unity because i like to bring it together and talk about racial unity. Okay. If there was one race, if there's one race, one uh, job having, bill paying race of people that's going to save humanity, what race would it be? No, ladies and gentlemen, it's the white race. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jesus I, need to, I need to fuck really bad. I need to come really bad. So just meet me in the unisex bathroom. Thank you. But because I know it's funny, I'm going to put it out. <laughs> <laughs> because like I like living in fucking hell, and I'm gonna show you it. Like absurd like, humor like, is great, man. Why not? I think people think. But people take it too real. Sam's a normal I, I guy think to me. He's kind of a lunatic. Yeah, I, I, people I, uh, take it too I, real. I, I, I get it. Like I can understand why people say that. But uh, Sam makes you say that, I dubs. Uh, I think your relationship makes me think that a little bit. I think a lot of. Well, with Danny. Yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> we'll get into Danny. it. That's to me. That's the most. Uh, that's the most solid and dependable thing. thing. Is like has stick to itiveness in a relationship. She's obviously blown out. <laughs> you suggest that you leave her so she kills herself. No. And then, and then for the rest of eternity, uh, you don't even know what Sam I'm Hyde's girlfriend kills herself. You saw her. If she killed herself, would it be my fault? Tell could me. Be. You think it would be? It could be. You think I did that to her? So this is before I Dubs realize, or as our when I Dubs was told. That it was just an actress. Dude, I-Dubs was played. He got played. He got played. For fucking dealing. Which is why he didn't release this until Sam Hyde released his version. <laughs> did that to her. You think I, you think I sold her what she's doing? I, I, I don't know anything about it. I don't know what I got about it. That's how it's done, boys. Get out of the cities. I saw a woman wearing a shirt, had a happy little face on it. Oh. I said, guess what, bitch? There's only two genders. Sam's been doing Hyde <laughs> Wars, which is just like a, a show where he rants about, you know, whatever topic I think interests him at the time. Talked to a dude who had one of these perfect white flus. Those chicks have a gasket loose. 
universally. He also does a podcast style show where he brings a crew member on and sort of just chats with them for a couple yeah, I've hours. I've seen that. Start doing shit that turns you into someone that you like. Martial arts and by martial arts. Hey, by the way, who who had the setup first? Sam Hyde or Pod Awful? You know, Jesse P.S. of Pod Awful. Who had this setup first? This weird setup with all these monitors and TVs everywhere. I mean, jujitsu or, or Muay Thai um, and uh, lifting weights will do that. Sam's recently taken on more of a self-help uh, role for his fan base, sort of giving life advice or career advice to people and his audience. The stuff he talks about, you know, usually appears to be genuine. Uh, it's not something that is like an obvious joke. And, uh, you know, he has some gems in there. Most important thing, in my opinion, is to get good at something. Develop well, that's some good advice. type of skill. Develop something that is a benefit to other people, that gives you right. self confidence. That's, that's actually that good makes advice. You a worthwhile person. But a lot of the iffy stuff that uh, he says, you, it's really hard to write off his jokes because he's never really been shy about like aligning himself with the alt right. They want, they do want to destroy whiteness. <laughs> if you're going to one of these things to help them destroy whiteness be ready to be destroyed. He's donated around $5,000 to the Daily Stormer, which is a neo-Nazi website, and uh, you don't really do that as a joke, uh, from what I understand about the world. <laughs> so with the context that Sam openly aligns himself with the alt-right and white supremacy and misogynistic stuff, uh, it's hard to write off any of the ironic stuff uh, what you could do is donate to a cause like Black Lives Matter <laughs> because, you know, that those donations are going to a good place, right? Going to, that's right, line the pockets of the people who run that organization, <laughs> the people who claim to be Marxist while they uh, spend that money on nice homes for themselves and do nothing, little to nothing, to better and enrich the black lives. In fact, if anything, uh, there's a lot of people donating money to... I guess wholesome, uh, I guess uh, charities or not charities, but people who claim to be uh, uh, advocate for doing great things when really what they're doing is they're funding, um, let's say they're they're funding uh, prosecutors that are soft on crime. All right, uh, they're they're funding <laughs> they're funding politicians that uh, don't care about uh, putting out things that would actually benefit benefit the people bring security uh no 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 funding people that instead of helping people want to do everything they can to work on destroying society you might as well just throw your money at the daily stormer hell and i'm not even a racist i can't be i'm a raptor i can't be uh i i equally will devour anyone of any race okay yeah <laughs> all right is just ironic peace because hate is whack dude my race is done you're inheriting the earth along with some other undesirables and that's cool bro Hi, before we continue with the documentary, I want to take a few minutes to talk about irony. I wish there was a this <laughs> this i dubs attempt to uh, explain how he was played. And that was just one, one giant joke. Perfect way to explain to you guys why talking to Sam Hyde is frustrating. Not only to a person making a documentary about him, but as a guy who doesn't actually know Sam on a personal level. A lot of people probably refer to irony as having metaphorical layers, but irony exists in a circle. This is the circle of irony. At the top of the circle of irony, you have sincerity. You can't have any amount of irony without some sincerity behind it. Here's an example of a sincere thought. I don't like eating shit. People who are not being ironic say sincere things like that all the time. You might say that it's the default way to say things. The next rung on the circle of irony is just called irony. You might be familiar with this from English class, and it basically means that you kind of feel the opposite of what is being expressed. Uh, and it's basically just sarcasm. Oh yeah, I love eating shit. Great, people think I love eating shit now. Isn't that just perfect? This is the go-to boomer humor that- So I would say, 
I love eating people. Man, like this lady right here. This lady right here. Oh, yeah, I would totally love to eat her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'll, de I'll devour her. I'll de devour her up and down. Okay. I wish I wish you could have a close up. All right. Get closer to the camera. All right. I would devour her. So the irony thing would be to say is, oh, no, I would not devour her. No way whatsoever. No way, man. Okay. I think I'm thinking following. Old people thrive off of. They love sarcasm. It is a basic level of irony to the point where it's almost irrelevant to millennials and Zoomers. After irony, we have post-irony. This is where you say something in a way that makes it sound like you don't mean it when you actually do mean it. In other words, you're using irony to make a joke about how you're joking. Oh, I don't, I don't like eating shit. Oh, me? Oh, no, I don't like eating shit. I hate that. I don't like eating shit. I don't like eating delicious, creamy shit. Stop saying that about me. If you put a pile of shit in front of me, I wouldn't devour it like an animal instantly. I wouldn't be doing that. This is probably the most popular form of irony in the modern generation. They're basically parodies of memes. So you have to already know what irony is to appreciate or begin to appreciate post-ironic humor. And look. This is IW just coping, though. This is right here. Idubs is coping with the fact that he got played. He got There's played no more hard. Room on the circle, so it must be done. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Meta irony is where this gets fucked. This is where you're saying something sincere, but the context could imply that you're saying it ironically. Yet the thing that you're saying is actually a sincere thought. If this doesn't make sense, that's because it doesn't make any sense. It's meant to confuse you. Meta irony is placed intentionally in this circle in a way that doesn't make any sense because it is intertwined with sincerity. No, I don't like eating shit. No, I don't like eating shit. Unless. <laughs> but do I like eating shit? You don't know, do you? The fact that I brought it up in the first place is a little bit suspicious, but the concept of eating shit is so ridiculous that I have to be serious when I say I don't want to. <laughs> I bet he would eat Danny's shit, though. <laughs> right? Meta irony is used effectively by people whose intention is to blur the line between sincerity and jokes. It creates a situation where in order for there to be a prerequisite of sincerity, I have to obtain the knowledge outside of the joke. You're basically just saying the consumption of shit is something that is physically possible. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> but if you're not saying anything about something when you say- Hi, Dubs. <laughs> This is the first time I'm actually watching one, some, one of your videos. Uh, and yeah, you are retarded. <laughs> say it. Why do you even say it? People don't tend to do things for no reason. There has to be an answer here. And there are two answers. Either you're just bad at irony or you're just being sincere. This is why it's so difficult to be around Sam. Try to understand him and ultimately make a documentary about him. He lives here. Sam is drenched in meta irony constantly. He intentionally doesn't make it obvious when he is or isn't joking about something. Why? He so what I'm getting here is Idubs is trying to explain why he didn't understand and pick up on the social cues that he was being played from the get go. There are so many examples in this documentary from the introduction on that it was all just a giant prank, but he he couldn't he couldn't pick it up. He does this is up for interpretation, I guess. But after seeing how much he appears to involve himself in political ideologies, it seems he prefers to use meta irony as a shield. To say I was just joking is a. <coughs> oh, sorry, I was coughing. I was coughing from all that bullshit, from all the the the, the, the smoke coming off the steamy bullshit. <laughs> uh, he makes it seem as if being a meta. Ironic is a bad thing, as it's just a facade, a front. Uh, of course, I'm saying this as a raptor, <laughs> you know? A legitimate way to exonerate yourself in moments of actual miscommunication. But it's also a perfect fallback option for when you receive criticism for a point that you are genuinely trying to make. I think eating shit is awesome. What the fuck? You like eating shit? I was just kidding. Are you stupid or something? Well, now I feel bad for being unaware of any irony going on. So in the future, I will not criticize you for anything you say. I am now invulnerable to criticism.
Cope, cope, cope. Why did you choose to make a uh, documentary about me? Well, I'm gonna flip that question on you and say- You can't flip the question, I just flipped the question on you. No, you that's not how this works. This, I'm interviewing you. This is crazy. Yeah. This is the craziest interview I've ever conducted. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna be like an ordinary interview. All right, go ahead. Uh, do you remember our f first interaction? No. You don't? No. I have very bad memory though. Yeah. Was it bad? What do you think? Did I snub you or slight you or something? What, <laughs> what did I do? Dude, I doves is a, he's going to be devoured. Your memory is that bad? Yes. You don't remember? I do not remember. Okay. Do you remember? What was it? You remember making a pony game? Yes. There were some creators at the time who made videos about this fake pony project. Yeah? Yeah. Were you one of them? I was one of them. What did I do? Do you have any guesses? Did I say fuck you or something? Uh, no, you, you copyright claim the video. Really? Yes. And then you sent me an email. I mean, I don't do, I don't do most copyright claims. What, do, what, was, what was the email? The All email my videos on this was, channel are copyright claimed. I will so. release the copyright claim on your video. If you can send me a video of yourself squatting 200 pounds below parallel. Why didn't you do that? You'd be so much stronger now if you'd done that. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Did I create an enemy with that? I mean, for, for a period. Damn, I'm I sorry, I didn't buddy. like you. I'm sorry. You were an asshole. I'm sorry, buddy. That's, that's no good. Yeah, why'd you do that to me? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't even remember what, you, the, what your video was, so I, maybe I, I was pissed off or something. I don't yeah. know. I was trying to I was trying to not have that ruse get blown though. Right. So maybe that had something to do with it. <laughs> that probably did. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't. I don't remember that. Yeah. Damn. That's what led to this day today. Really? Okay. Yeah. So are you trying to? Are you gonna punk me? <laughs> You're getting punked. Really? How are you gonna? How are you gonna punk me? I'm gonna make you look like a like an asshole. Really? Which isn't hard to do. Is that is that really the case? No. Okay. Part of me feels like you might be being disingenuous by saying you don't remember. I legit don't remember, 100% serious. Really? Yeah. He probably doesn't is it, remember. Is it because you're, you know, doing so much that you just sort of forget all the bridges you burn and all the like people you fuck with? Did I? <laughs> I dubs. I mean, I don't think Sam Hyde really cared all that much. Have burn a bridge with that? I could have been, but I'm I'm a resilient person, so I I turned that hate into a passion for filmmaking, which okay. is why I'm here. Okay. Yeah. So are you, are you like still angry with me? No, definitely not. Okay. Do yeah. you dislike me still? No, I think there's some things about you that I, I mean, that I just want to understand better. Yeah. Mostly to do with your comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a list of questions that I, I can get into. A list sure. of questions. All right. So before we get into the, uh, the shit, Let's uh, let's get a synopsis. What's the shit? Well, I, <laughs> I'll get into it? it. I'll get into it. No, because this is this is ominous. <laughs> is what it is making this? you nervous? Yeah, no, I want to know what the shit. Because this is very this is very strange. It feels like you're uh, trying to punk me or something. It's I'm not like... punking you. It's just questions that uh, that me and a lot of other people that I've talked to have about you. Like, what makes you sort of a a. Is that what the shit is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. Um. Let's start off with what uh, what content are you most proud of that you've created? I don't like the I don't like the order this is going because you're le you're. <clears throat> and just to be clear, just so it's not like uh, to relieve the the any sort of pressure you might don't be don't relieve the pressure. No, keep it on. Okay, okay. Yeah, this Let's pressure's it. great. Let's keep it in there. This is good. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, the the video is not meant to be a hit piece. I didn't set out to do that. I was like, no one's made like a documentary, or at least a good documentary about. And now, I don't believe iDubs on this. I think iDubs actually did want to do like a ex expose on uh, Sam Hyde, but it, it just didn't work. DE or Sam Hyde. So, like, this is a great opportunity. He so could say Sam Hyde lives in meta irony, but uh, iDubs, where does he reside, huh? Where, do, where, where does he constantly live? Uh, being disingenuous? Huh? Huh? Of course, I'm going to rack my autistic brain to figure out, 
okay, what things do, do Sam and I have in common? Well, we interacted however many years ago. Maybe that's something I could bring up in the interview. I figured out what, I was, it's not nervousness about being punked. It's I wish you had been upfront about that. Because mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't like when I have like static with people. I wish you just told me like, just hit me up at the beginning and being like, hey, we have this, there's this thing. It's no, like, but I thought it would be really good here. Okay. For, to be a reveal. Okay. Yeah, because just, I don't have anything else to connect. I just hope that you're not actually, like if you were upset, if you actually were upset about that, I would want to like heal that. Right, right. No, not at all. All right. I'm so, yeah. Fair enough. I should, you should have just told me, oh, man, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this water here. No, it's all good, man. It's, uh. I don't like having st static with people that I actually like. I don't think Sam realizes how much I don't care about our first interaction. It was like a little bit annoying for me at the time because I've never dealt with a, like a copyright claim. Got a shifty eye when he's explaining it. Interacting with Sam. <laughs> it's an interesting thing to bring up, but it wasn't meant to be like a surprise. You're pranked. It's more like, hey, here, here's an interesting bit of info that you didn't know about. A lot of your comedy is like uh, shocking, but I think I think the areas I struggle with, and I think a lot of people who want to enjoy your content kind of struggle with, mm. is they don't feel like they have permission to laugh at certain things what? because you haven't given- You have permission to laugh at all of it. You feel like you don't have permission to laugh because it's too edgy for you, because you don't know if it's appropriate. What does it mean if I laugh at a, at a racist joke or edgy joke? Does that make me racist? <laughs> Come on, man. I dub. And then, like, enough context at the beginning mm -hmm. to indicate, like, oh, this is this is all just, like, a gag that I'm doing or something like that. Is it is it valid for me to, um, to not, to just not care about that? Like, do I have to, do I have to be, like, scrutinizing my words and be like, oh, maybe I could get more views if I really explained what I meant when I said cum dumpster? <laughs> can, I just, is that, can I not give a fuck about that at all? I mean, obviously you can. Okay, good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I'm not trying to be. Um, you got the permission like from the content of your comp. Question. It's just uh, no. It's not something I think about. Okay. No, that's fair. That's I mean, what that's, I know about. Yeah, I don't want Wasn't you to the content, uh, please? <laughs> drum up a thing if you yeah. if you ha legitimately haven't thought of it. Yeah. Is this something that you think you should think about? No. It's not. Uh, I'm curious about your relationship with Danny. Um, has she <laughs> this been is when it's on revealed. drugs <laughs> since she met you? She's been on drugs since before she met me. So if you're implying that I've driven her to drug use, you are incorrect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, that's what I wanted to sort of get out of the way. Good. Yeah. Glad we got that out of the way. Have you tried to get her any help? Uh, no, seeing as she's a girl, I paid $500 to shave her head. <laughs> and her girlfriend. No, I haven't tried to get her any help. Do you want me to try? Well, okay. I don't know her that well. It's probably not my business to get her off drugs. Also, I think I told her to put her hand in your pocket and pretend to be on drugs. <laughs> Shut up. You think I, are you serious that I would date a girl that has her hair shaved like that? <laughs> yes. You think I'm a fucking mental case? Yes. <laughs> no, actually, oh, well, I've known her for a long time. And, um, Dude, Idubs is legit confused. <laughs> it is good. This is I, so upsetting to me right now. You think I would? I'm a fucking millionaire. You think I have a shit ass office like this? <laughs> Shut up. This is your office. Says who? You think I would fucking spill rock stars and Legos all over my office like a fucking animal <laughs> and have 20 people in a fucking dentist's office? You know this is a converted dentist's office, right? That's why there's like paintings of like whales on the walls and shit. <sighs> Ian, he you just, silly guy. I dubs got played. So you're punking me. I'm not punking you. I'm trying to make a. I'm, I was. Um, I thought it'd be funny for your fans. I thought they'd like it. The whole thing. I would never do anything. The to whole thing's a ruse. Actually, hurt you or. A it's. It was comedic. It was funny. It was hilarious. <laughs> Set you or make you look. Forward. I dubs is mad. He's mad because it wasn't real. He wanted him to be real. <laughs> but Sam Hyde knows what I dubs does. I would not do that. So. How do you know Danny? Um, art school connection. I think she's a friend of a girl I fucked in art school. Yeah. And she doesn't do drugs. No, she does hair and nails. 
Dan I don't know if she if she. Actually Danny's does. not on drugs. No, she's a good actress, right? <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Uh, no. What the fuck? Also, the slingshots are rental. <laughs> more, more is being exposed. We did get duped by Sam. Uh, we didn't get pranked in quite the way we thought we were going to get pranked. It's not easy to say that I'm like happy with the conclusion because I'm still wondering kind of what's what's real and what's fake, legitimately. He doesn't even know. But that's the point. What do you really know? You know nothing. That that's that's a point. That's that's a that's a fortune you can take home. That's a fortune you can think about and take home, take take to heart. What do you really know, guys? What do you really know? Right? You could you could apply that question to anything when it comes to politics, when it comes to COVID, when it comes to the moon landing or anything. What do you really know? What do you really know? You know what you're told. You know what people have told you. You've seen the images. You've seen the video. But what do you really know? You know nothing. You know nothing. Think about that. So how many of you guys live here? Um, five people. Sam threw us for a loop last did he? night. Yeah. What did he do? Well, I mean, yesterday was just sort of the big reveal. Oh, uh, it showed you? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, I wish I had uh, pushed him more. Like about himself? Or yeah. Or just like this? I mean, about himself, about his comedy. Everything I said was complete bullshit. Everything? Uh, except for my name. My name's real. All the XRP stuff, that was nuts. Does that seem like delusional? Does that seem like a gambling addict? That so funny. so funny, dude. No, seriously, I did security for Joey Gambino. I did security for a lot of high rollers and mobsters in Lake City. Like, I swear to you, I did. He was the only person not playing I wasn't, like... I, I did. He does look like Why legit he, security. Then you laugh and you think, now he doesn't believe me. I, I just remember Joe. <laughs> I believe him. Yeah, I'm, now I can like finally yeah, be like... Music. Not point the muzzle at anything that you don't intend to kill. Always keep your finger off the trigger and around the trigger guard unless you're now ready to fire. Guns. Uh, Fun and stuff. Keep, and keep your mask on too. Joey's letting me shoot. <laughs> keep the mask on. Joey's letting me shoot his Glock. Don't show the serial uh, number. Aim right here. <laughs> I didn't own a gun until pretty recently. Yeah. So I'm trying to I'm trying to come out here like as much as I can now. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> oh. <Dude. laughs> Damn, that looks fun. You just don't know me. <laughs> you could know me. Like you guys are funny when you're not like you're not when you're not playing characters. I don't think you realize that. I think it's like, oh, it needs to be like confusing for the audience. Like it doesn't need think, to be confusing. I don't think it was very. Confusing. Confusing. It, was it wasn't confusing. confusing. Forward, They're just like, yeah, having my, fun. You no, know, we do. Everything is pretty cut and dry. Yeah, for, but it's from your point of view. Well, I mean, you're coming. Oh, I Dubs is still salty. He's still salty that they're playing him. <laughs> from you know, I mean, you don't An know. Outsider us. perspective. Yeah, and, and everyone is so. I don't think they're... Yeah, they don't know shit. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. Like, I... So many fucking Sam comments are they, just... Let me tell you this. They don't know. Nobody knows anything. Nobody knows anything about anything. Nobody knows anything about anything. <laughs> That's why it's kind of fucked up. Because, like, you don't... Like, after that, you don't know what's real and what's not. So, yeah. like, I'm like, damn. He thinks we're, like, totally lying. <laughs> That's why I feel a little bit bad about it is because like there are certain things where it's like oh, yeah. yeah, but we kind of screwed ourselves on that Like I was like I kind of want to stop this because this whole Danny thing is like really upsetting to me This is really fucked up of Sam to do it like this is his girlfriend of like two well, years or whatever shit, so what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> he paid an actress oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so like 
like she even she, like she, shaved she, her head for the thing too. Like that's why she looked all like had that crazy haircut and yeah, stuff too. Yeah, like, it was know. just for like nah, that was real. Layers. That was real. Layers. Nah, her hair is really like that. It is what it is, and who knows what it is. So it's, God. It is what it is. Who knows what it is? Glasses are three thousand dollars. Whoa. That was insane. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Why'd you give me this fucking thing? I thought this was airsoft. I'm never doing that again <laughs> in my life. Holy shit. I thought it was airsoft. Sam didn't show up to shoot guns with us for like two hours, and then when he finally showed up, he was very distant. <laughs> when did he talk to you again? <laughs> one on one. About well, what? Uh, all sorts of stuff. Why? Uh, felt like yesterday was like a bit incomplete. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. We left shortly. Sim Hyde isn't going to open up to you, I, I dubs. All right. He's not going to open up to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> After that, you're taken for a ride. For the rest of the week, Sam wasn't willing to meet up one-on-one. -on -one. He kept coming up with different excuses like, you know, he was too busy or that his back hurt. And uh, this continued for the remaining five days that I was in Rhode Island. Until eventually he had us meet outside of his real office, which he didn't want on camera, to give me something. This is a thank you from us. To he didn't want it on camera for a reason, iDubbbz. iDubbbz is so salty on this. Our experience together, and uh, as a gesture of goodwill, you're gonna want to see this, guys, at home. Wow, so YouTuber kings. Yes, man, the YouTuber, YouTuber kings. kings. Hang it somewhere private, or you can display it for people and just kind of filter out anyone who doesn't like art. Yeah. <laughs> what was that poster of? I, I want to see what that poster was. Luckily, we were able to get Sam to stick around with the rest of the group to have a chat around a fire, but I wasn't able to talk to Sam one on one after that. So pretty much, iDubbbz wasn't able to get the uh, expose he wanted. Uh, let's go watch these girls play a game. Yay! That's right. We're playing a game. How many times could they put that ball on the top of that little little wooden hammer? How many times? Let's see. And yes, I would eat them. I would devour them. That's right. Okay, you put it on top of the hammer, and you get a point. You get one point. Two points. And you get on there, three points. Oh, that's ten points. Oh, okay. Good luck on that one. All right, let's see. Who has it? The one in the white, the one in the blue. I'm going the one in blue. The one in blue. A little bounce there, but one point. Another point. She's good at this. She likes, she's good at, she's good at balls. <laughs> oh. Four points. Okay. Now they switch. I think they switch. Oh, oh. Come on. Get, 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 get. Oh, come on. Oh, you 
try, good try. Got one point. Might as well just go for the 10 points. Just go for the 10 points. She did it. I guess. Oh, what game is this? Oh! <laughs> That's a fun game. That's a fun game. These girls are a lot of fun. They are. A lot of fun. Good stuff. Good stuff. So guys, <laughs> that was fun there. Oh, we can watch another one of their videos. Their videos are great. Oh, this. Oh, oh, oh! This is great. This is great. This is how you take your temperature. Yeah. Who has <laughs> who has the hottest rack? <laughs> <laughs> Who has the hottest rack? Um, if you're watching, Brutus, which one of these ladies is the hottest rack? I'm going to go the one in the middle. Well, that's... N uh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. I would eat. Yes, I would. Normally, yeah, you do armpit. Or under the tongue. Let's get to when they actually start putting it. See, right now, right now they're checking their temperature on the armpit. Okay. All right, skip ahead though. Let's skip ahead. Here we go. That's right. That's right, ladies. Tell us about how how you handled your uh, your temperature. That's right. Oh, she's cold. Oh, we got we got the we got the hand cam. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We'll see. Does she have the hottest? Does she? Let's see. How hot is it? Scientific. Yeah. Squeeze them together. Hold it together. There you go. Yeah. Just keep it there, and eventually, I think it's going to be 34, 33, 34, 34.2. Yeah, now she's going to have a hard time doing this. The one on the... Uh, the one on the left is gonna have a hard time. 33.9. 33 All right, her turn. I'm gonna go. She actually might be hotter. Let's see, 34? Oh, it looks like it's gonna be 32. 33.4. 33.8. 34? 
34.1. She might actually have the hottest rack. 34.8. 34.9. She might be running out of fever. 35. 36. She might have COVID. 36. 36. Now, with her rack being small, I'm thinking it. she actually could be just picking up like heat from her. Well... I don't know about her. Is her is hers gonna be hotter than, than the one in the middle? Thirty-five. Yeah, and, and thirty-five. Uh, I guess Celsius to Fahrenheit, that'd be 95, 95 degrees. <laughs> so if anything, the one in the middle is cold, ice cold. She needs to be warmed up, guys. She needs to be warmed up. So we were wrong. The one with the coldest wreck was actually in the middle. Her name is Rena. She's great. She's fantastic. The one on the left is the taller one. Okay. That was good stuff. Good stuff. Well, guys, I had a good time streaming with for you. You know, we learned a little bit about Sam Hyde. Through iDubs, that he pranked iDubs, and iDubs was salty about it. Uh, then we had some miniculture moments. I mean, we could watch this chick put on clothes. We could. We could do that. She just put on clothes, different outfits. There's this style right here. Let's watch this one. The black outfit. Try on different uh, I guess high school girl sock outfits. There you go. Look at that. Looking great. Looking fantastic. Mm -mm. Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's looking nice. こう、スカート合わせるとルーズソックスって。ダボってしてるので足が細く見える効果があると思います。感じ What's this one? The white outfit? Oh, you gotta squeeze that over your head. There might be a butt on the back. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Really tone. She's really tone. Oh, I like that skirt. Skirt is fantastic on her. Looking great. See, Japan has this. In America, we have like 400, 500 pound land wells that are like, I don't know, being pushed onto us. Don't worry though, I'm going to eat them. Eat them all. Mmm, nice. Fantastic. Looking good. Looking good. Looking great. 
女子って感じ。This is what? さあ5日目のコーディネートなんですけども結構カジュアルなボーダーのプレイボーイのニットに色の渋いキャップとスカートコーディネートです。Not all right. Not all right. Skin tight. Nice. Fits to the form. I have bots in the chat. That's good. That's good. I'm glad my, my bots are coming in. That's looking nice. Mm-hmm. Not bad at all. <laughs> Now, she's,、uh, she's one of the Cyber Japan girls. She's one of the Cyber Japan girls. These girls are great. Great skits, great videos. Their videos are not as fun as the,、uh, the Sherbet channel, but. They do take us to look books and different things too.、Um, like here, where you have five girls going into、uh, a hot spring bath. Why? Because it's culture, guys. We're learning about culture. Have you been to a hot spring bath? I've never been to a hot spring bath. Oh, oh, Kino Casino starting? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm gonna wrap this up pretty soon. Let's jump, to, let's jump to when they get into the bath. Let's get to the good moment. All right, get in, get into the water, ladies. Get into the water. Here we go. They're in the water, enjoying it. Now, that is. That is art. That is art right there. Oh, they're. Let's follow them. Follow them. As they go. That's right. That's right. We're just going to follow you girls. You lead the way.、Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks fun, though. I hope,、uh, I hope they wouldn't mind a reptile going into that water. Why did it retract your message? Uh, Schwabble 262. Why did it retract your message? Ah, that's sad. Looking good. Looking good. All right, we'll go and wrap it up here, <laughs> guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I did, I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's fun doing this now. I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and, uh, Go check out the、uh, Kino Casino. That's what I'm going to do. You have a good one. Y'all take it easy.